Hello everybody, and welcome again to another episode of the Obscure Toy Files. I'm your host, Chris Boglinegri, and we're here to talk about more wacky lines from the past that nobody remembers except for a few of us who are that crazy and obsessed with toys to keep track of it. This is a line called Carnivores, made by Matchbox in 1994. So these are 22 years old by our tape count. This particular figure we're reviewing today is one of the deluxe uh, carnivores called Bitewing. I've already taken off the bubble since I've had him in my collection for a little while, but I never bought him new back in the day. I was into a tech pack from Hot Wheels too much. But this is a pretty cool line. I didn't want to get all of the carnivores, because there's, there's a bunch of them. There's like so, not too many. There's six altogether, including this one. But I didn't want to go you know, all the way into it. And yeah, so it says, they're here and they're hungry. With Axel action, blades really spring. Carnivores, part wing, fires parasite bombs. That's why I thought it was cool, because it, it's a like a bat helicopter creature, and it has little bat creature links that jump off and like attack other people, which I thought was cool. And then there's this really weird like car thing in the bottom, like, what's going on? People doing? Are they looking at me? Do they want to know what I'm doing? Oh my God. It's just like, what the hell? Smoke. Hardback's so funny. They make such weird artwork. But yeah, so we have the back of it. And it shows all the different carnivores. Collect them all. We have, let's see, we got Iron Claw, who claws his prey. Chomper, who crushes with mighty jaws. I like to get him. He's kind of, looks kind of neat. Then there's Fires a Stinger Missile with Buzz Off, or Buzz Off, wait, Buzz Off. Oh, it doesn't look like the guy from He Man. Trademarked, I guess. Hey, haha, as soon as you, as you lose, Mattel. <laughs> They're like, oh, not using that buzz off tire. We're hopping on that. And he fires a stinger missile from the top of his head, right here. And then we have Spitfire, who's like some sort of squid, squirts water. And then we have the deluxe guys. We have Venom Spitter, who also spits water. And by the way, these ones are the deluxe ones. They do a little bit more. These ones generally have like one or two, just mostly like one feature. These guys have like two. In the back here, you look at the thing, it says, Carnivores, creatures who crawled up from the center of the earth to fight each other on their surface. Molten rock has deformed their bodies and warped their beastly minds. Now, carnivores use their XL action to roam an unfamiliar world and wreak havoc. With special attack features, every battle is survival of the fiercest. Such terror. I don't know how molten rock deforms them and turns them into car monsters, but you know what, we're not going to argue that. Uh, but you see the things in the back. It says press rear trigger to engage blades for airborne attack. Finger flick parasite bombs on the enemy. And pull trigger to release bite wings, vicious fangs for attack. So you get like a couple of different action features out of him, so which is kind of neat. This review will be a little quicker than our normal ones. I'll talk about the line as much as I can, but since there's not much to do, I like taking it out of the package and whatnot. Or he's kind of ready here to go, so I'm going to take this out of the way. Yeah, this is Bitewing. It's a, the sculpting on it is very nice. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's like a metallic purple with like these neon orange eyes. He's got fangs, and it'll look like, totally like, yeah, I'm going to bite your face off. I don't care about it. <laughs> like, he's just like, he just looks evil or mischievous. And you basically have his little parasite bombs. This one here is like a tongue. He's holding a bone. <laughs> little sprawl, the, you know, little creepy hands. This one over here is just kind of like has his tongue out. They move a little bit. I'll show you once they pop out. They really don't, they don't like, fire out, you just kind of flick them off. And then you have this trigger under here, like this is its tail, it almost looks like insect-like, there's like a turbine, but it's just kind of, it's like, it's like the shape of it, so like there's no internal detail right here, it's just like a little nub, and it's like a little fin, like it really looks like it's a creature that merged with a helicopter, and the, and the helicopter wings are like little bat wings, like it's three bat wings that make the propeller blades, which is kind of cool. But it has a very weird uh, way it moves. Like, usually you spin the blades and it keeps spinning until you pull it all the way back. This doesn't do that. Like, watch as you... You hear the gear slip. Like, it, it'll, it'll spin this way. So it spins counterclockwise. And when you let go of it, it spins it clockwise. And then you pull it again and it, does, and it stops it. So as the blade goes, it stops itself. It clicks loud, too. The thing is, the motor is whisper quiet. You can barely hear it. You really have to just kind of like flick it. Like, I guess it's, you're not supposed to do it that way, but if you feel like you get a good spin out of it, but if you, you can't... Yeah, it seems like a really stupid way to operate it. Like, I don't know why they designed it that way. It's like, it makes more sense. Just to, I, I've, I've had other toys that do the opposite, so it's so strange you went with that. And then you have like... You push this button here, so you can hold them like this, and you push this, and it's like, Venom Fangs! Oh, they stick out! And you just, just kind of... Hear that spring? The powerful spring of power in that! Ooh! I broke out a kid's eye. That's one of these rages for up. You don't want to mess around. 
Did you do that? And you launch your parasite bombs by just going like, see you later, bonsai. Get out of here, drop. I don't want to go, change my mind. It's like that. Yeah, the auction, yeah, we'll look at it. Let's jump off the stupid thing. <laughs> it's all part of the show, kids. <laughs> Apparently Billy and Bobby don't want to get off. All right, just do that. Yeah, you flicked them off. I call BS on the packaging. It lied. It made, nothing makes sense. Yeah, so you basically drop them on people or force them off or do whatever you want to do with your toys. And you just kind of... I mean, that'd be terrifying to watch this fly at your face. Like, if that was falling on me, I would crap my pants probably. No, but the sculpting on them is really good. I mean, they have they have one point of articulation. And the arms, it's also one piece. So it's kind of flaps. It's like... But it's enough to get the job done. They even have them like chasing people. They don't really have like little, they have like little sprawly limbs except inside their tongue and their mouth. And they sculpt have some furry details up here. It's really cool looking. This one's neat. And it, oh, I really like how they're both different. I didn't just cheap out and make them both the same. And this one's more a little bit more bestial. Like you said, he's got like more sprawled teeth. Like he has like sm a smaller lower gum. His tongue's holding a bone for some reason. Throw me a freaking bone here. It was the 90s. You can say that type of stuff, I guess. Bad Austin Powers reference. He's like his little feet, his little like detail under his stomach. He said they're, they did a really nice job with them. They're really lots of fun. Their arms look like they're bone. So it's like they're cool little creatures. I like them. And, uh, and I've, seen them, I've seen them on eBay. They don't go for a lot of money. I mean, like 15, 20 bucks, depending on the seller. But um, they're not hard to get. And like I said, I'd recommend you collect them if you can. At least, you know, playing with them. If you like monster toys and you like trucks and vehicles and stuff like that, this isn't a bad line to jump into. They're, they're like a lot of fun. Um, maybe if they maybe if I switch up, they work better the other way. Yeah, it's like it's a, it's not really much detail in it. It's just like furry legs, and they're like they're like little skis. Like it's it's so funny how like it's like a helicopter that's mutated with a bat. Why don't I just hop off? Get off of there! There you go. I guess you just push them. It's like bonsai. I changed my mind. <laughs> I'll eat my own children. I don't care. Are they my kids? My my friends? I don't even know what they are. Oh, what are you doing is I attack people for you. I care not. Uh -huh. So long, suckers. Uh -huh. Oh, crap. He was a ride home. What are we going to do now? Yeah, but it's, it's a cool toy. Not too bad. I think I paid like maybe 10, 15 bucks for it years ago off of eBay. So I, but like I said, I wanted to have at least, I like to get at least one weird toy from a line to put into the archive so I can say, you know what? I've had one of the toys from that line. Do I want to collect all eight of them? Or all six of them, rather? No. There's actually a seventh one called Skull Shooter, which they don't show on any of the card backs anywhere. And, and the funny thing is, he has his own artwork. It'll say Skull Shooter, but if you look at the back, it doesn't show him at all. So I don't know if he was planned for Series 2, and, every, and then he just kind of shoehorned him into this. Because you, you actually watch the Carnivores commercial, again, also on YouTube. Type that in and check it out. You can see the Skull Shooter character gets bit by Chomper. So he's in the, the commercial, but they don't even show him any more than that. You just see him, he gets bit, and then... The, you never see him again. I saw the toy on eBay. They changed the sculpt a lot. I really wasn't into it. So I'm like, you know what? I really don't want to buy that one. If it looked like the sculpt from the commercial, I probably would have got that skull shooter. But it looked too... It looked like they cheaped out a lot on it. I was like, you know what? I'm good. Like I said, that's always the problem with some of these lines. Is they have such great detailing on the, on the original toys and the sculpts. And then they just kind of cut the corners to save on cost. And you really lose a lot of the good detail on it. But this is a pretty good. I'd recommend, if you like, again, if you like monster toys, buy Bite Wing. You get, it's a cool vehicle. You can have it attack your other, you know, figures. And like I said, you get, you get the spinning propeller wings. You have the biting fangs. The dropping parasite bombs that don't want to have them come off. It's so comfy in there. Why would you leave? Look, look at his face. Why would you leave that? I, mean, I know I wouldn't. Oh, you can even see some of his ears here, like sculpted. Again, they did a really nice job. Very big nose. I mean, if this thing was barreling down on you, like... I would probably crap my pants. They'd be like, well, time to leave. This post-apocalyptic land is not where I want to stay. All right. Well, that's it for this t uh, this week's Obscure Toy Files toy review. This was the Bite Wing Deluxe Carnivores toy by Matchbox. Carnivores! Biting. Fighting. Stuff like that. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. And we'll check you next time. Say goodbye, Bite Wing. Goodbye, White Wing. Cut the tape, cut the tape, cut the tape, cut the tape!